beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you enjoy the content and if it's not your first time here, thank you so much for coming back and it means so much to me. Um, so today is vlogist 31st it's the end of my first vlogist, and it is the end of the first month where I have posted every day. Um, before this, um, I was posting kind of like, um, like kind of like a crochet roundup, um, which actually just reminds me I should do a crochet roundup. If I think I've done quite a few things this month, but regardless, I was basically doing like a crochet roundup. But I didn't even know, like I like I wasn't calling it a crochet roundup or anything. And I would just post periodically when I felt like I had a lot of projects. So I could be like, I made this, I made this, I made this. And um, yeah, so I decided that I was going to try to do Vlogist. Um, and that was like, I had been doing the Mandala Blanket and then Vlogist was coming up. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to do Vlogist. Um, and so I've done it and I really liked it. It was so much fun. Um, the channel grew so much. So many new people came. Um, and it's just honestly been a blast. So I'm really, um, I'm thinking that I, uh, am going to just keep continuing doing what I've been doing and posting daily. You know, sometimes I'm sure there'll be days where I, where I can't post or I have too much going on or whatever and it won't be a big deal, you know. But, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I've been really enjoying the, um, the daily posts. And I said the daily post and that made me think of, um, Harry Potter because I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure that their mail was called the daily post. <laughs> I almost went into both loops. I'm going into back loop only. So anyway, um... Yeah, so it's kind of uh, bittersweet. It's kind of it's kind of sad. Um, I'm a little bit sad about it. It's one of those things that it's kind of like with the mandala blanket, you know? Like, you're happy because it's like, hey, look, I completed this thing. And it's like something to be, um, I don't know if proud of is like the right word, but like a sense of accomplishment. And, but then at the same time, it's like, but it's over. <laughs> like, I was really enjoying that. Um... So yeah, I'm thinking about continuing that. So what I'm working on right now is I'm attempting to make whipped cream. And so I'm working in the back loops um, and like kind of making like a tiered looking sphere. And I think this will probably be the last row that I'm doing for it. And the reason that I'm trying to make this is because I'm making a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> so I got, I worked up this um, like orange cup and then I did purple and I like slip stitched um, the last row before I connected, or not purple. Why did I say purple? What? Brown. I slip stitched the last row and then I connected my brown and did a few rows of that and then I slip stitched the last row of that. And then I've got this little pumpkin from when I was working up the design for my um my pumpkin applique uh tutorial that I did. Um this is a smaller version. This was actually it is my pattern that I posted, but it's one round less. So if you want to make an even smaller one, then the one from my tutorial then um, just do it but stop one round earlier Lincoln some yarn just dangled off of my desk and Lincoln came diving in to try to grab it but yeah so um, I'm putting gonna put this on here and I think it'll you know be cute for like a pumpkin spice latte and then I'm working on trying to come up with like some whipped cream You know, like a little pumpkin spice latte with whipped cream. And then I, I'm still trying to decide if I want it to be a hot or a cold pumpkin spice latte. 
Because, like, you know, whipped cream is more of a, a cold drink thing because it just kind of melts on a hot drink. But I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. Because then if I'm going to do um, a cold one, I'm going to do a straw. I'll make like a little straw to stick onto the top, like kind of like look like it's going into the whipped cream. And if I do a hot one, I was thinking about doing like maybe a cinnamon stick or something. Cause you know, like pumpkin spice, it's got like cinnamon flavors and stuff like that. Um, today I am drinking in my chubby unicorn mug. Believe in unicorns. And, um, I am drinking regular flavored coffee, just, just like, you know, black coffee, um, with cinnamon flavored creamer. So good. And I want to make sure I'm actually enjoying this while I'm making my video and not letting it get cold because I don't like room temperature drinks. It needs to be hot or it needs to be cold whatever it's supposed to be. <laughs> and I do not like it when they start to like get room temperature. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would come and chat and hang out and kind of take you guys along through the process of making this pumpkin spice latte. Um, and I'm thinking if it comes out cute, I might make a tutorial for it. Because why not? <laughs> I'm trying to um, make tutorials and especially for like, um, especially for like the season changing, you know, and coming into fall and Halloween and stuff, um, things that people might want to make. Um, because I had like when people first started kind of coming over to my channel um, during vlogist, I had people um, asking if I was going to do patterns. And, um, there seemed to be, like, a lot of, uh, interest and, like, request that I do patterns. Or, not patterns, sorry, tutorials. So, I'm like, you know, I have no problem with doing tutorials. I, I think that that's a great idea. <clears throat> but, um, you know, I don't know exactly what people were wanting. So, I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like doing a tutorial for. So I made that little amigurumi tutorial, which I thought would be good for um, Yarn Fairy, Yarn Fairy Fridays. And then I made that pumpkin applique tutorial because I was working on making a pump, pump, a pumpkin, <laughs> a pumpkin applique. And I was like, might as well make a little tutorial. It's like a really simple, um, like good beginner applique. Um, so I was like, yeah, might as well. And then now I'm making a pumpkin spice latte and I'm like, mm, maybe I should make a tutorial. Maybe I'm uh, getting tutorial happy. <laughs> Trying to see where, I'm not using a stitch marker. So I'm like, where did I start doing slip stitches at? I'm finishing off this piece and then I'm gonna kind of see what it's looking like. I don't know if I like this whipped cream. I thought about doing just like a tube, like a little tube um, that I make really long and then I can just kind of spiral it on top like a little pile you know like a little spiraled noodle <laughs> noodle of yarn you know what I mean though like how whipped cream comes out in like a tube and you kind of spiral it around so I was thinking about doing that I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off there see what we're looking like so what is everyone else working on for whip wednesday i know i'm putting out two videos today because i filmed another video and um i it was a day that i'd already put a video up and i was like i'll put this one up tomorrow and then like i just keep making a new video <laughs> so i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and post two videos i'm just gonna go ahead and post two whip videos Um, I only filmed it like, I was gonna say earlier this week, but it's only Wednesday, so maybe it might have been earlier this week. It wasn't that long ago, it was a few days ago. But I was like, so I am still working on those things. Um, well, I finished the granny square, but I will show that. I'm thinking I might do another Trinity Stitch granny square. 
and I'm thinking I'll show those at the same time um, and talk about whatever, you know, I might, might have some other stuff too. What are you drinking today? Are you having coffee, tea? What flavor are you having? So here's what we're looking like. I don't have the um, pumpkin attached yet, so that's why it's not on here. I don't have a top on this um, pumpkin spice. So this is gonna fall in, but it's just about the right size that it fits almost perfectly to fall in. Meh. Okay. I'm trying so hard to show this to you guys. Oh, I know what I can do. I'm getting creative. <laughs> I'm using my crochet hook to help me um, with this other side. So this is kind of what it's looking like, like a little dollop of whipped cream. I think a little dollop of whipped cream is cute. Hmm. But is it enough? Is it big enough? I think I need to like decide the direction I'm going with this. I'm like, do I want like a little dollop of whipped cream or do I want like, you know, a ginormous mound of whipped cream that's like super extra and dramatic? I don't know. There we go, I kind of balanced it on there. Whipped cream. I'm like, I also wanna do like cinnamon sprinkled on top of it, but like, I don't think there's a way to really do that. I guess I could do like extra thick cinnamon sprinkles and do it if I do it with yarn. Or maybe I could do like, maybe I could like, take apart the plies and the yarn and use like a really like thin piece and like my darning needle and just kind of like, you know, go all over putting little dots. You know, what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to give it a shot. I have no idea if it'll work out, but you never know until you try. I actually, I'm not even gonna lie, I considered just um, putting actual cinnamon on it because I, I would have to look it up, but I remember um, seeing like one time in the past that cinnamon is like a good anti-bug thing that like bugs don't like cinnamon. So don't quote me on that because I, did not Google it before I made this video, but I feel like I remember reading that. And I was like, well, I mean, there's no reason I couldn't sprinkle cinnamon on top of it if it's like not gonna attract bugs. And especially if it's a deterrent for bugs, that could be like an added bonus. Um, and then also it would smell good. It would smell like cinnamon. So I'm like, but then, you know, there's a decent chance of going to sprinkle cinnamon on it and like too much cinnamon sprinkling onto it and it just becoming like brown, like a lot of brown on top. So I took apart my yarn and it looks like there's, let me see. Yeah, I think there's four. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's like four ply you know, in here. If you can see that, there's still three left, but I took one of them away. And I'm gonna try sewing. Try to sew cinnamon onto here, if it works out. But yeah. So, I'm pretty excited. I think one of the reasons why I'm so excited and like, really embracing fall. Well, okay, I always embrace fall. I like I like the weather. I like a lot of things about fall. 
But I think one of the reasons I'm also just like, yeah, let's go fall is um, I'm going to get to visit my family at the end of October. I'm going to go for um, Halloween. So I'm going for like five days around Halloween up to Michigan and I'll get to see my nephew and I'll get to see my sister and my brother and like my mom. So that's exciting. I'm very excited about that. Why did I start on the top? I don't want to start on the top. I want to start underneath. <clears throat> I'm very, very excited about that. I miss my nephew and I miss everybody. Um, but I live in Texas, so it's literally um, 1,400 and something miles. <laughs> So visiting very frequently is just not like a thing, but she visited me, my sister visited me with my nephew and my brother-in-law in March. So I'm going to go and visit at the end of October and a couple days into November. So look forward to that. <laughs> I look forward to that. I don't know if that's like really gonna matter at all to you guys, but I'll probably try to, um, I'll probably try to like, I don't know, vlog or something a little bit while I'm there. Maybe, maybe I can like do a video. Ooh, maybe I could do a video of like everybody with their stuff. Cause I'm making like stuff for everyone that I'm planning on bringing with me. And I'm actually planning on bringing um, Christmas presents, at least, you know, whatever I have ready of them. And I don't know if they're if I'm going to have them open them when I'm there or if I'm just going to leave them um, for them to put under their Christmas tree when the time comes. It's just that I'm already I'm going to be flying there and I'm going to have my suitcase and it would be a lot more like practical to bring um and bring everything I've made for them in my suitcase than to ship it because shipping is so expensive um especially the mandala blanket that I'm starting um that's going to be our first update is going to be on Tuesday for um that's going to be for my sister and that's probably going to be pretty heavy which like in a suitcase it would be fine but um mailing it you know with it being bulky and it being heavy so that's what that's looking like. I actually think that might work for cinnamon. Kind of, it's very subtle, but like, you know, cinnamon, that's the thing is that cinnamon wouldn't be like big chunks. It would be like, you know, pretty fine flecks. So yeah, but I'm trying to come up with a Halloween costume. And also thinking about what I want to make my nephew for Halloween um to give him because not last year but the year before last I was up there at Halloween time and he was you know really little but we did like a little mini trick-or-treating um with like the family where like we were all kind of around the dining room and um we all like gave him something he came trick-or-treating to us and th that was because for one he was really really little and like not gonna really get the understanding of it like he wasn't even a year old um but also because covid was going on at that time like well i mean not that it's not still a thing but things have gotten a little bit more back to normal like i'm pretty sure that uh trick-or-treating will be on this year but i'm assuming we'll probably still do something like that too and i mean even if not I'll give him something. Last year I wasn't there for Halloween, but I ordered him um, like a, a box of crayons and a coloring book and um, some kind of a snack. I think it was like some uh, like little fruit pouches or something like, you know, those little toddler fruit pouches. I don't remember. It wasn't anything big, you know, because it's not like a Halloween or holiday where you really gift. But I wanted to be there and I wanted to get to participate. So that was the best I could do. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll have to figure out um, some kind of a video to do up there. 
I'm going to be up there for five days, so obviously I won't do a video every day, but I could definitely get like a video in at the minimum. Oh, and we're going to go to um, Bronner's, which I don't know if any of you guys, well, I know at least some of you guys live in Michigan, actually. Um, but for those of you that live in Michigan and those of you that have visited Michigan, you may have know, you may have heard of Bronner's. And it's like the biggest Christmas store in the country or something like that. And um, it is so fun. You should Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, I love going there. And um, yeah, so we're going to try to kind of like smush in all of the holidays. We're going to try to do like hollow Christmas Hello Christmas giving or something. We, we were joking about it. Um, so we're going to try to kind of squish in all the holidays that, you know, we won't get to spend together. So that's why I'm not sure if we're going to open Christmas present. Like I might, we might do Christmas uh, gift exchanging. I don't know. Um, I think, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it would be like, it would make sense because I'm bringing, I'm going to be bringing quite a few gifts with me, but like, I'm not going to have everybody's gifts. And then also, I don't know if, and they have, you know, the gifts that they're wanting to give and stuff. And obviously we're still going to all have Christmas. So, um, yeah, so I don't know if they're going to open those or not. I don't know if I want them to open them or not. That's actually kind of what I'm trying to debate. So I think I'm going to need another piece of yarn for this. But I'm just rambling because I'm just hanging out and trying to make cinnamon on the top of this pumpkin spice latte. Uh, so I actually think this is working out really well. I uh, am going to need to redo the, or I'm going to need to attach a new piece of yarn because that one kind of ran out. But um, I actually think that that's looking really cute. I think that gives like that effect, you know, of cinnamon on there. I don't have it on the whole thing yet. I have it on one side, which actually might look better to not put it on the whole thing. To kind of like a like, sprinkle of cinnamon. It's very subtle. Like, I actually feel like it shows up more in the camera than in real life. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, well, I'm gonna think a little bit more about this and then I'm gonna come back because I don't want this video to be way too long of me just rambling and not sure what I'm doing, but I will think about it a little bit more and I will come back when I have like a semblance of a plan, but this is what I'm working on. <laughs> um, so I had a nap and I worked on this a little bit and I didn't decide anything, but I did decide something. So, um, I decided that I don't need to decide if it's a cold or a hot drink because I was telling my husband, he came home for his break and I was like trying to get him to tell me what I should do. I was like, I'm trying to decide if I should do this as a cold or a hot drink. And I was explaining to him, like, if it's a hot drink, I'm going to put, um, like a cinnamon stick or something in it. And if it's a cold drink, I'm going to, uh, put a straw in it like coming out of the whipped cream. And then I was like, I kind of answered the question for myself because I realized the variations that I'm talking about will not look different. Um, me making a cinnamon stick is going to look the same as me making a straw. He's like, yeah, it could be a paper straw. <laughs> like, you don't know. So, you know, it'll just kind of be open for interpretation and I can just make it the same way and you can decide if it's a hot or a cold drink with your own mind. See, so it'll be like art. It'll be like, you know, those interpretive arts where people are like, what do you see in this picture? It'll be like, what do you see in this pumpkin spice latte crochet? <laughs> so I went ahead and stuffed it. And I also made a um, circle to put in there like a lid because my whipped cream was falling in. <laughs> so I needed something flat. Um, and like, this could also be the drink actually, but it's going to be mostly covered up anyway. So I was just like, I need something to, um, stabilize. And then I also, um, I added some more cinnamon sprinkles to the top of my whipped cream, which I haven't attached yet, but I'm thinking something like this. Does this look whipped creamy? I think it looks pretty whipped creamy. 
This kind of looks like a jar to me. Um, and so I'm not going to lie that like it didn't pass through my mind several times that I should switch it into like a jar of pumpkin. <laughs> I have a really bad habit of when I'm making something, if it starts to look like something else, I will change what I'm doing. <laughs> I do that a lot, actually. Um, actually, I was, it's kind of too far away, but I have a mushroom over there that I made that was originally going to be something else. And then I was like partway through making it. Actually, you know what? To give me one second. I'm gonna go grab it. Okay. So, um, back in some of my like earlier videos before I started filming in landscape mode, I think it was back then, um, you may have seen that I made, um, a hanging plant for my sister, like a yarn, like obviously out of yarn. Um, and I kind of went like on a little kick of making, um, potted plant type things. And this was supposed to be a potted plant thing, but I used, um, I was trying to remember what happened. This brown yarn was from my scraps and it's just like some yarn from Goodwill. And I think it might be like a bulky because it works up a lot bigger than like my worsted weight. So, um, it came out, this is supposed to be the dirt and <laughs> this is supposed to be the pot and it came out bigger because of the yarn that I used, but it was the only brown I had. So, you know, I was just trying to go with the flow. Um, but then when I like stacked them together, like damn it, or oop, darn it. <laughs> um, I stacked them together and I was like, it kind of looks like a mushroom. I think it's a button mushroom. I think these are button mushrooms. It is super squishy. Boop, boop. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was literally just a creation of complete like accident. Um, and I do that a lot. I also made this, this is sitting over here, speaking of my foray into plant, yarny plants. <laughs> um, I made this, this is completely like not a pattern. Um, I don't, I was trying to make like a little like keychain sized one. Um, and then I made this little thing. <laughs> And it kind of look, looks like, um, it kind of looks like a pineapple, but I was looking at this the other day and I made like a tiny pot. I was looking at this the other day and I was like, oh man, I wish I kind of, I kind of wish I would have written down what I did. Um, because I feel like I could put like a little, um, like little safety eyes on here. And I could say that this was like a, ma a mandrake, like the little, the little screaming baby plants from uh, Harry Potter put like a little face on here, maybe some like little like like noodle arms and then have it have you like, you know, pull it out. <laughs> Oops. Ah! <laughs> but yeah, and then I um I kind of like the way the leafy things look on here. I don't even know what I did though. Yeah, I have no idea what I did. <laughs> so yeah, this sits over here and it is like my strange little um kind of looks like a little bonsai tree too actually. You know, you see, it, it can be anything. <laughs> anyway, um, away from that tangent. Woo that was me like whisking away my tangent. Um, so I'm going to make a straw. And I need to cut this little piece of yarn off of here. Because do you see this? I left my crochet unattended for literally like a couple of minutes when I first got up from, or got up to, um, take a break, I just went to the bathroom. I wasn't even like actually going to nap or anything yet. I went to the bathroom and I came back and my yarn that's attached to the skein was hanging off my desk. And the yarn that was attached to my crochet hook, which was because I had made this topper, was also like hanging off my desk and they were no longer connected. Can you take one guess who did that? My cat that likes to uh, chew on yarn. He literally came over here and chewed through chewed through the yarn. Now, thankfully, he didn't um, abscond with any of it and eat it because I don't want him to get, you know, like a blockage or something. I'm so paranoid about something happening to him because he will not leave yarn alone. So I like lock up my yarn. I actually have a little, um, what was a like mini fridge, like the really little ones that's for like six cans of Coke. 
Um, but it doesn't like get very cold. So we lived like basically we got it on clearance and then we've never um never really used it. We tried to use it like one time for like a while, like, you know, we had it on for a few days and it just like never got cold. So well it gets cold, but it doesn't get cold enough. Anyway. Um, I call this my yarn vault. It just sits right here. And when I am not working on something and I'm getting up to normally, if I'm getting up to get a drink or go to the bathroom or like, you know, to leave, whatever I'm doing, I stick it in there or I will put it in one of my project bags. I don't leave it on my desk. If I leave it on my desk, my cat will come. Um, but he had been good about not like, you know, if I'm getting a drink or something, cause like I can see him. I'm literally right there if I'm in the, in the kitchen. And if I'm at my drink station, it, I'm in the living room right there and I can kind of keep an eye. Well, he had been really good about not running over and um, like getting into my yarn right away. So I made the mistake of trusting that I could go to the bathroom real quick and he wouldn't come and try to steal my yarn. That was my first mistake. <laughs> but anyway, um, actually wait, I don't want to do a magic circle for this. Um, I'm gonna make a straw and I'm thinking I'll make the straw out of this color because um, I think it'll match nicely for one because it's the same color that I used for the top of the cup but also um, my husband actually had a good point I'm like it could be a cinnamon stick it could be a straw like you don't like you can kind of interpret it how you want it hmm now that I'm making it though I'm like what if I did white what if I like swirled it with these? That would look like a paper straw. You know what's kind of hilarious is that I'm like thinking about making it look like a paper straw and I absolutely hate paper straws. I hate paper straws. Makes my drink taste like paper. Ooh, I don't know if you guys have had paper straws like um, Starbucks. I think they might've switched back out of them. I don't know. They give you like the sippy lids, sippy cup type lids now when you go there. Um, and you get a cold drink, but I think they also have straws and I don't know if they're paper straws or if they're, if they switch back to regular, but when they first switched to paper straws, um, they didn't have regular straws anymore. And those paper straws were horrible. They were so bad. Like your, it made your drink taste like paper. And then if it like sat for very long, it would like get soggy. Not a fan. <laughs> And I use like, I have my like little plastic Starbucks cups that I've shown in my video sometimes. And I have plastic straws and I don't mind my plastic straws. Um, I also don't like metal straws. Like I had, um, I'm gonna do a little chain and then make it into a circle, I think. Um, I had like, you know, those little metal um, insulated, um, those little metal insulated um, tumblers with the lids and then like they keep your drink cold. I had one of those and um, I used it religiously for like years, like several years. And then I, I don't know why I just kind of got away from using it. I think it was just because um, something about using like the metal like irks me. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just like, I don't like drinking out of metal. I don't know. Does anybody else have that? Does anybody else, anybody else relate to what I'm talking about? So I did a chain of five and connected it back to the beginning. And then now I'm just going to crochet around if I can see. <sighs> I'm blind. If I can see what I'm doing. But yeah, um, something about, I don't like to drink out of metal. So the cup was metal and I used it for years, but I just like, I don't know. I got away from that um, and now I just use my little plastic Starbucks cups which I really like because also they're they're cute and um, they have like color changing confetti and um, stuff like that like built into the cup so when I put my cold drink in there then it changes color and I think that's super fun <laughs> um, and also then you know like your drink is cold plus like I've said before I don't really go anywhere so um, I can put my drink back in the fridge or whatever if it isn't cold anymore. So I don't really need like an insulated tumbler. Um, I did used to like put ice in it and then it would stay cold all day and stuff, but I don't really need to do that. Plus I like to uh, make sure my cup is clean and I like 
I think that's also part of it is I like to be able to see through my cup and I can like tell that it's clean and like with the metal ones like you can't see through them so I like those little plastic ones because I actually have some plastic ones that aren't see-through and I like never use those ones so maybe it's like also just a subconscious thing of like I like to be able to see through my cup and see my drink so I'm just working on this straw if it will cooperate with me. I'm working in a very small spiral. Um, I did five stitches and then I connected it back to the beginning. And then um, now I'm just working around and around on those five um, stitches. I try to keep it in the frame, but I have a bad habit of like crocheting down here and then I'm looking, like looking down and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. The, f the beginning of this is going to look a little weird, but I might just like t see if I can tuck that up into the straw. Because the beginning of it has like, you know, where I started it. So it's like thinner. Like it's like, it's like uh, pointed. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm going to like, I kind of like the idea of trying to make it look like it's stuck into the whipped cream. I wonder... I did crochet the whipped cream with a five millimeter hook and I'm doing the rest of this with a four or a four point four point two five. I hate it when they do this when they put it in white on like a light color like that like why would you do that I mean it's more aesthetically pleasing like I do like the white with the yellow but it's really hard to read <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to work this up and I don't want to make it too long because my cup isn't very tall. You know, it's like kind of a small, like a miniaturized drink. And then if I do have it sticking out of the whipped cream, I should probably kind of figure out how tall I want it. Because like, this isn't that tall. And if I have it sticking out of the whipped cream... It's too short to like <laughs> to really show you that, but you get the gist that like it wouldn't need to be very long. I'm kind of like maybe I don't want it sticking out of the whipped cream, but then it's also I'm doing it in the same color as the top of the cup and the top of the drink. So then it would be like coming out of it in the same color as the rest of it. Like this the straw would be the same color. Maybe, maybe this is not the color I should be using for the straw. I don't know what color I would use for the straw. I guess I could have done orange. Well, this doesn't take very much yarn, so. It shouldn't take me very long to work up either, so. If it, uh, if I don't like it, then it's not that big a deal. I can make something else. So, um, obviously it's not finished yet, but what do you guys think of this? Is this something that you would like to see a tutorial for? Or, um, like what kind of things are you guys wanting tutorials for? Also, maybe I should make this a poll on my channel, on my uh, community tab. I love that I have polls unlocked on my community tab. That's so fun. Um... By the way, thank you guys who voted in the poll that's on my community tab. I was actually really surprised that, um, I think the last I checked there were like 67 people that voted in the poll on my community tab. I was really happy with that, um, participation. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I might eventually make this into a poll, but I just kind of am curious with like the people that watch my videos. Are you interested in tutorials? And like, if you are, what kind of tutorials? Because when I first started doing it, I was like, yeah, you know, sometime in the future, I, I'll probably um, dabble with tutorials. But like, I wasn't really planning on making tutorials. Um, like, I didn't have like a plan in my head of like, you know, I'm going to make tutorials over this or that. I just realized that I'm crocheting. This is technically going to be inside out, I think. I think these are technically the wrong side of the stitches. But it would be way too hard to try to to try to flip. Oh, you know, this is probably long enough that I need to start looking at what I'm doing with it. Um, but yeah, would you guys like tutorials for one? Um, 
And then what kind of tutorials are you looking for? Are you just, do you like it when I just make random tutorials um, about whatever like I'm making or whatever is like interesting me at the moment or I could have it stick out of the middle. Kind of like, um, you know, like a frap, like a frap um, or like any type of an iced drink, how they put like the domed lid and then the straw sticks out the top. I feel like that kind of just looks like a candle though. I don't think I'm feeling that. Um, but yeah, because people were like, um, are you going to make tutorials? And I was like, yeah, I can make tutorials. So I started like thinking about making tutorials and then I've just been making some random tutorials. Um, and I just like have been doing things that I'm like, I think people would find useful. Um, and like also if they kind of relate to what I've been doing, then it's like, you know, I'll go ahead and do a tutorial. Like the Yarn Fairy Friday one, I was like, I'm going to like think about some kind of a tutorial that I think would be really beginner friendly for people who don't normally do amigurumi, um, but want to participate in Yarn Fairy Friday. And then obviously it'll be useful for other people too. Like maybe people who want to make a caterpillar or people who are looking for an easy amigurumi pattern, um, and a no-so amigurumi pattern. And that was kind of my way of thinking with that. And then the pumpkin was just because, like, I was feeling the fall vibes. But I, like, never really thought about specifically what kind of patterns were you guys looking for. Obviously, I can't make promises that I have the capability of doing them. <laughs> I might have the desire, but not the um, skill. But um, it would be interesting to at least hear um, what kind of pattern or what kind of tutorials you guys were interested in. So I'm kind of thinking coming out like the side like this. And then the other option is coming out like next to the whipped cream. But with it being this color, I'm kind of thinking coming out of like the side of the whipped cream. So I think I've, I've settled on that. So um, as to not make this video 7,000 years long, once again, um, I am going to clip away and I'm gonna get this like a little more polished looking and attach these things. And then I will come back and show you guys our pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> and it's finished. So here is our pumpkin spice latte. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I concocted this. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring. I like, I gotta find the balance between boring the crap out of you and hanging out with you. <laughs> so let me know if that was too boring, but be nice about it. Don't be like, yeah, you're extremely boring. <laughs> like, be like, yeah, maybe a little boring. <laughs> um, but here's our pumpkin spice latte. I love that. I am so happy with how that came out. And I think the little dollop of whipped cream came out so cute. And the cinnamon, try to focus you. I think the cinnamon came out really good. I stuffed the, um, I stuffed the whipped cream with yarn scraps and I didn't stuff it super tightly because, um, I wanted it to, um, be shapeable. I wanted it to be shaped like this. And when I stuffed it really tightly with, um, I was going to use yarn scraps and stuffing to stuff it tightly. But when I did that, it, um, became really flat. It kind of like stretched it out at the sides and I wanted it to poof up at the top. So it is not stuffed, um, tightly. And then the straw, I didn't stuff at all. Um, and I realized I never finished my thought. The reason I said that I had wondered about the, about how to put the straw on. And then I mentioned that I used a five millimeter hook for this and a 4.25 for that. And for all of this, um, the reason I mentioned that was because you may notice the weave um, I don't know if it's still, I'm always like, is it still called the weave of it? Like the tightness of the stitches? Is it still called the weave when you're talking about crochet? Or is that like only for weaving? Let me know if you know what I should call this, because I always want to say the weave of it when I'm talking about like the, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because I'm just used to like in my whole life, just saying the weave of something like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I can't. I can't put words to what I'm trying to say very well, but hopefully you understand. Um, anyway, so there, like in some spots, especially, um, it's a little bit more, um, 
you could kind of pull apart the stitches, which is also why I wanted to use yarn scraps because then if you see through it at all, um, I used the yarn scraps from this project. Um, so I used like white and brown and actually some orange too, but I tried to put the white and brown ones towards the top. Um, so that if you do see any yarn through it, which I don't see any yarn through it, um, but if you did, it would be the right colors and you wouldn't even know. Um, but what I was trying to say is I was actually able to pull that skinnier end that I started with. Um, I used my hook and I kind of went up from underneath before I stuffed this and I grabbed the yarn for that I started with and I pulled on it and then I just tugged on it a little bit and wiggled it down in there and I was actually... I was actually able to um, pull the start of that down into the um, whipped cream. So it looks very seamless, like the way that the straw goes down into the whipped cream, because it actually goes down into the whipped cream. And then I just secured it a little bit so that it won't come out. But yay, it's done. I'm so happy with it. It's adorable. I love pumpkin spice lattes, and um, I know that pumpkin spice is a um, divisive topic, <laughs> but I hope that everybody can at least um, agree that this came out pretty cute. You could also make this into like a hot chocolate or something, or like this could even be a root beer float. Dude, put like a little handle on here. It could be like a little like mug of root beer float because this looks like it could be ice cream too. So there's a lot of ways you could go with this. Anyway, guys, I am going to let you go. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today and making this pumpkin spice latte. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope everybody has a great day and stay safe. Bye, guys.